welcome back to Chris's Corner. We've got another ornament here in the Doctor Who collection. But before we get into this ornament, I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help us greatly. And you're going to want to subscribe to the channel if you want to take part in the giveaway that we're doing this year, we're giving away two ornaments, one at 100 subscribers and another at 250 subscribers. And those, the one at 250 is a Nightmare Before Christmas ornament. But for now, this is the 10th Doctor. The tenth doctor. Now this is, although we are both fans of Doctor Who, Four is my doctor. Ten is mine. Ten is your doctor. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know more about the tenth doctor. Than anyone should. <laughs> than anyone should, yeah. Yep. And I probably know nowhere near as close to that about the fourth, but... Yeah. Well, it was weird, because when you start reading things, you start watching the show, you don't put it together right away, but blue suit, red shoes, and the different tie is whether or not you're going forward in time or backward in time. His other suit is the brown, brown suit, suit with the pinstripe yep. and the white shoes. Mm -hmm. I have the brown suit with the pinstripe and the white shoes. And I do still have my trench coat. That's right. We dressed up for comma, one of the Comic Cons. And I was the fourth doctor and Heather was the tenth doctor. I believe my daughter was the eleventh doctor. She was eleven, yeah. Yeah. And then we had your Toyota TARDIS. Yes. Yes, find a picture of that because yeah. that, that car was awesome. Yeah, I'll throw that in somewhere in here as we're talking about. I don't know what it was with him, if it was just the energy that he had. Rose was a great companion. I don't know, it was, they were good. Yeah. They were intriguing, they were fun. I couldn't wait to watch another episode of Doctor Who when, when it was 10. My opinion, the show has not been as good as it's been with 10. Yeah. Yep, Matt was... Smith wasn't bad. Matt Smith was still Capaldi good. Capaldi was, was all right. Yep. I'm not saying anything about what's her face. I don't. I didn't, no. yeah. don't, don't think you watched enough of them. No. And the, the stories were really, really bad. And they ended up kind of ruining the show. Although newer viewers will say they didn't. But my I guess... Opi my opinion, it went down. Yeah. We're 50. We watched the show for a long time. Yeah. When, you, when you're that dedicated to something. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, this is 10. So when this ornament was released, it was? 1999 US and 2599 Canadian. And since it was released this year, you can probably still find it in the store if you're lucky. Probably. And online third party site, it's going for 21.99 plus shipping and so. stuff. Hey, we've got, um, I think we've seen this one before. Chris Goffin. Grew up watching her aspiring artist mother enter paintings in 4-H competitions, intricately decorate cookies, and to never give up on her passion for creating. She inspired me to do the same, Chris explains. From early on, I found so many ways to be creative. I would draw, doodle, and add illustrations to the stories I read. My mom's unwavering example continues to fuel my artistic expression today. So that's a little bit about uh, Christina I'm going to say Goffrin. I could be wrong in patching that up. I'm sorry. We apologize for butchering your name. Yeah. So there's not a magic ornament. It doesn't have any sound or voice to it. Wrapped in lovely paper. Comes with his arm bandaged up. Look how handsome. <laughs> Look at the quaff of hair. Ah, he had the best hair. <laughs> David Tennant, I, I mean, I would have loved to have been David Tennant's hair fluffer, but he had the best hair and the Sonic. I still have mine. I'm going to put a link in the uh, at the end of this video, and it'll take you to a friend of mine's YouTube page, Justin. He uh, is building a TARDIS console. I think it's in his living room. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wow. Um, but yeah. Go and go and check out his video. It's kind of cool. He built a TARDIS for his backyard as well. Something that I would love to have for our backyard. Yeah, I'd like to have my own TARDIS. That'd be awesome. One day, 
Maybe. He's really good though. Like he's really, really well done. Yep. The detailing is fantastic. Really, really happy with him. And he's got his sonic screwdriver. Of course, which doesn't do wood. <laughs> yep, the sideburns. Oh, tenant's awesome. All right, so let's put a hook on him. And he's going on our Disney tree. Disney is Disney Plus is airing the new series when it comes out. We're very happy about that. So I guess all of the doctors are now That Disney makes 10 a Disney prince. Prince, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that awful? I bet David Tennant never thought he'd be a Disney prince. <laughs> all right, let's find a hook for him and we'll meet you over the tree. Okay, welcome to the Disney tree. This was the Nightmare Before Christmas tree, but we're just adding to it to make it a full-on Disney tree. And we're looking for... The 2022 10th Doctor. And he's right here. I do hope you've liked this video. Please remember to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And you have a very good day.